the support. Yeah, Grass, grassroots, you've always got to think about those academy teams, get yourself in there, from the bottom up. Don't you worry, no man, I believe in you. Thank you, at least someone does. I'm not going to ask for what your MMR is. <laughs> we are pretty much ready to get ourselves underway here. For our second series of the day, Evil Genius is up against PSG LGD. And once again, Lacoste and Nomad take it away. Thank you very much, Gareth. Yep, in this best of two, and it is going to be an absolute battle. LGD obviously really want to take it to the upper bracket right now. Meanwhile, Evil Geniuses, they have a lot on the line emotionally, and they do not want to be dropping any games. They want to go through these group stages undefeated. You just know it. Like, you can tell that energy is radiating off them right now. So, OD going to be in the mid lane versus the Mars. A very unique matchup. How does the Mars actually do in this in this lane, or how do you think he's going to do in this lane, Lacoste? It's a melee hero against OD, definitely. OD has an upper hand and Sumail is the master of that hero. Let's see. OD wanted to, to check if there are any wards placed up on the high ground. Mars defending it with a shield held high though. <laughs> Just dropping each other's items in front of each other. <laughs> Trying to turn each other out here. Oh, this is funny. Meanwhile, two stasis traps also That's dug up by LGD. Yeah, it's oh, a no, sign. Oh, three! What? It's a sign for LGD, don't pick deckies again. Yeah, I just gave them making sure they know. All thoughts being thrown out here. A little nice light-hearted start to the game. Oh, wait. We can see a little bit of a different item builds. Arteezy has a Blightstone, level 1. Pangolier has Orb of Venom. So that's uh, a lot of those orbs. The battle begins. Adorable picture there. It's uh, PA. Lane up down at bottom. Yeah, she's been given the shared tangos as well to allow her to afford that uh, uh those extra items yeah. there. And they gave a shared tango to Sanking, which means that he's gonna be soloing up there. Crit and down to this bottom lane. Gonna be hopping out the Phantom Assassin where he can. Meanwhile, OD starting out at mid. Now we're kind of expecting OD to take a pretty strong arm in this one, but we'll see what the Mars can get out of it. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult for Mars once OD hits level four. We'll have a one to one build, and OD received, which is not a small buff in the previous uh, patch, where every single time you attack, uh, it's not just spell damage, you still get some mana back. And look at this bottom lane. Vorlock, Fatal Bonds, level 1. With daggers, they are throwing in a lot of damage and swashbuckle. Uh, some serious harass coming down, LGT. Oh, enjoying that one on the Morphling, who uh, generally likes to be able to just kind of take off the heavy instances of damage with the Strength Morph, then go back to Aji. He will swashbuckle coming through the trees from Crit as well. They'll respond with a Fade Bolt, but this bottom lane is looking a bit messy for LGT to start off with. You all admit, Mars taking the early lead here. Two and three actually going to smell right now. That right click damage on the Mars. Helping him out a bit and using that spear as well just to keep a bit of lane control. Push him away from the creeps, etc, etc. You know what? and Chalice are letting it up together. I think Xnova will still do in the water and all, all that stuff. It's, it's definitely going to be a full position on the Rubik, I would guess. At one point, Xnova will be forced to go back to the bottom lane unless they want to grab some kills on top, a kill or two, and then rotate him. But uh, it's not going to be an easy kill. Sanking, sitting near the tower, has three extra armor, also has a stun end, and it's pretty hard to bring him down. Yeah, I was just wanting to kind of taunt him up, see what he can do to disrupt him, uh, whilst Charles goes in for the pull here. With the Iron Shell, should be able to get those creeps down pretty quickly. You know, Samel in the middle lane. Still keeping things pretty even with, uh, with Somnus, so not a bad first few levels for the bars, honestly. Better than we would have thought. Yeah, Mars attack speed and animation is really good. There's now just banishing him up and taking as much as he can, but the gods are FY needs to TP out of the lane because he was fatal bonded to a full creep wave and now they're gonna dive Morphling. Yeah, they're going deep onto Arme. Could, uh, could he be in trouble here? Well, Dagger comes out. More waveform forward into the creeps. Keeping himself behind. This, uh, this, these meat shields. We want the top lane. That's getting really low. One more right click will come through from Chalice. The Iron Shell getting to work and taking down the Sanking in the off lane. Oh, Chalice is extremely farmed. 17 CS so far on top of First Blood has enough money to buy that Soul Ring. Yeah, and a bit of extra. 
Oh, just bullying this uh, this Mars, just pumping out damage into him. He's got himself an arcade rune. He's ready to roll. Another um, prisonman comes out. Oh, nice glyph. Yeah, that's from good. maybe to keep those uh, two melee creeps alive. Waste his mana as well because we want to try and get that back from Equilibrium. Very rough, but still just spamming it out, really. <laughs> kind of abusing this, uh, this astral. I uh, mean, while the roll comes in, Exanova kicks him back into the Gods Rebuke as well. Samel being treated like a ping pong ball right now as they continue to chase him under the tower, and the spear will penetrate the health world devourer and put an end to his life as Exanova surfs away from this middle lane. A victory surf. Great rotation. Down here at the bottom lane, Arme still just trying to get his money where he can. 8 and 0 right now compared to. Arteezy 17 and 7. Not where they want things to be. A lot of harassment coming out on the bottom lane from Fly with those Fatal Bonds. Phantom Assassin went for more greedy build early on because she has enough sustain from Warlock's Shadow Word. And another rotation on mid, Ex Noah. In some trouble once again, the kick away, but this time he's got the Astro at least to save himself from a bit of the Mars damage. Fly coming in from the backline as well, gonna throw down the heal onto some male. Smell actually coming forwards now with the Equilibrium, throwing in some shots and just forcing them back out of this lane. And with the Fatal Bonds as well, we'll be able to get a little bit of extra damage on. So just stop them being able to use those salves and everything, it's really, really nice. They just have to wait, they're actually going over to the Shrine. They'll be up in 15 seconds, so it's gonna be missing a couple of waves of creeps for the Mars here. That Fatal Bonds is really annoying. A crit just hit level 2. Not what you usually Aww. see, fit 5 minutes in. Yeah, and he's gonna get lifted and thrown off the rune by FY here. And now FY going for the run forwards, but Fly has already been able to grab this rune. So now he's gonna go for the TP out. And they don't have the interrupt, they do have a swashbuckle, but it's not enough damage. Down to 40 HP, Rubik will survive, however. You want our TT Nami, given some alone time at last down in this bottom lane, which the Morphling will be very grateful for. You know, this for. He's just trying to sneak away from Chalice here. He's on the run. He's got a Burrow Strike as well. Level 2, so he can get up cliffs. Things will be okay. Yeah, Dark Tier natural item progression is get that Helm of the Dominator. Sometimes he does not want to get it that if he's playing against Doom, if he's playing against Life Sealer, who gets that Hand of Midas so he can instantly kill it or with the Infest. But uh, now they don't have anything good against that dominated creep mid lane. More rotations coming in, X Nova, but they actually spear Smell back up to safety onto the high ground there. Not quite working out how they would have wanted. I feel like he was trying to spear him into the cliff, but he got bought up the steps instead. Kind of kind of weird there, but whatever. Meanwhile, again, FY stealing more runes from crit. Now the double damage, crit is going to be punished for this. Probably won't Radiance die, has the swashbuckle and the disarm obviously, but still a fair amount of damage being pumped into that Pangalia. Meanwhile, Arteezy and Ame still are able to lean alone against each other for a little bit. The supports are coming in and there's going to be a bit of a brawl around this bottom lane right now, but trying to leave their carries out of it as best they can. Arteezy zoned out a little bit. He's uh, rightfully scared of this DD Ruber because he's just going to come in and right click him a bit. Fade Ball comes down and Arteezy takes way too much damage there. Very frustrating for him. As uh, Samel. Under the tower, getting the deny. Denies? Just the singular. Even with that gank, Sumail is still one level ahead of Mars. It's pretty nice. Good place to be. Not much in the gold difference, but that XP does make a difference. You know, Arteezy and Crit. Not sure what they're doing, actually. It's kind of half jungling and half uh, coming back into that bottom lane. I don't feel like they need to leave bottom just yet. Maybe shrining up, looks likely. They don't have any wards set up on the bottom lane to see the rotations from uh, LGD. They have one near the rune spot, but they can easily play around it. Either TP to a tower, or just come from, from a side. Top lane roll in once again, S4 in some trouble. Yeah, he's under the sentry ward right now, but with the burst strike through, they're actually looking to turn this one around with Fly Fly coming in as well. Fly will chase away the darks here. So S4's okay, just continues to get healed up by the Shadow Ed. Meanwhile, some males also hanging around in the neighborhood. So they uh, want to give the Pangolier some levels, rightfully so as well. She's only level 2 right now. Does have to be scared of the Mars. Even with that, that S4 is still the highest level in the game, level 8. Has Sandstorm maxed out, will just continue to farm, almost has that uh, Veil finished its 
pretty standard build on uh, sanking these days. It gives you a lot of mana region, also some tankiness with the armor. Yeah, standard max max sandstorm build just for keeping waves pushed out. And uh, Fly's got a bird problems right now. On shell and bird kind of ticking up on him. I'm gonna have to borrow strike it up, keep it controlled for the time being. But Chance brings it back over just to make sure he can farm these creeps. Uh, so else coming in though. Is he on the hero? Yes, he certainly does. Astral comes out, air spore, he's picking up the epicenter, bringing down the big guns, chalice is being ripped down here, and he will certainly fall. They're picking out the bird as well. Fly wants it, but the tower gets it. No gold for anyone. They still got the XP from it. Rotation from X Nova, they're both level 3, Mars and Opa. <laughs> Fantastic casting. Oh, bah, indeed. That uh, S4 just didn't sound much of a chance there. The, arena f the bloody arena comes out, and uh, that's the end of his story. A fly, meanwhile, in the trees. Only level 3 on the Rubik. So both the uh, both the Rubik and the Pangolist are really kind of lacking in levels right now, approaching the 10-minute mark, and they really don't have much. These, uh, these tomes are going to be doing a lot for them right now. They are pressuring the tower. Mars used ulti with Arcane Rune, which means he's gonna have it back up in 25 seconds. Wow, that's quick. Yeah, top tower not lasting very long. Coming down to his last legs here. No Sand King to defend it. He's not coming over. They are gonna let his tier 1 fall, so LGD do strike first when it comes to objectives. That tower will go to Mars. Oh, my tower taking a bit of a tickling. Nothing, nothing, nothing too big. So. Not too much action happening either. Ten minutes in, we only have four kills. Yeah, Bounty runes are spawning. Bounties, but nobody's really being very aggressive for it. I mean, Crit is having troubles with this creep right now, and actually, uh, is Fly going to be able to do enough to actually save Crit here? Ah, oh, they've got the Astral. Okay, that, that's enough to help Chris Crit out here. Smell was new. They're still chasing this creep, but there's no way they're going to find it. It's so damn fast. The one up in the top lane is not. The Royal comes out of the arena and the gods are big. Finishes off Arteezy. And that is going to be X Nova and Somnus finding another one right well, now. Not cleft, but uh, also stuck in the arena of blood. Mars with two bracers, magic wand. He's tanky enough, has a lot of sustain, some magical resistance. Now has phase boots finished. Ooh, because he's their mid hero, he will need to be more active. Yeah, look at see. I mean, he's already been extremely active, to be honest. Meanwhile, some has just been farming up, but uh, that's kind of the nature of the two different heroes. You pick this Mars, and you're expecting him to be making players around the map, using his low cooldown on his ultimate as much as possible, especially with that arcane rune. Meanwhile, I'm a farming in the bottom lane. Well, I say farming, more existing uh, with with difficulty. That's for grabbing those creeps there as army just waits for them to come under the tower. And uh, we'll do its best. He actually changes it to Sanking here coming in as X Nova's joining in on this one as well. S4 uses that bow strike to get himself forward, but Chalice is on top of him with the Iron Shell and with the damage from Ame. They'll be able to kill off the Sanking. Fly just running himself away, realizing the moment that Ame went on him, there would be supports coming in. A nice play from Ame there. LGD with a beautiful gank. And uh, there's a smoke. This Centaur Conqueror is causing a lot of issues. Just the Tom of Dominator creep in general because they have no ways to deal with him. Roll comes in, does actually split the needle there a little bit, but crit just absolutely disappears. It's under level Pangolier, just reaching level 5 right now. And uh, Rubik steals Equilibrium. Hmm. That doesn't sound too bad actually, with, with a Fade Bolt, just ripping through people. I mean, usually you would want to have Astral or Sanking Stun in this game because it's uh, so good you have a potential save with Astral yeah. or almost no casting time on that Burrow Strike. It's 0 0.15. Got uh, nerfed a little bit a couple of patches ago. Well, easy mana. Well, he can probably pop Equilibrium and then use another spell if he wants to, but I mean, I can't see anything being like super ridiculous with that. It'd just be cute. Meanwhile, LGD, they'll hit the showers. Shrine up, boys. Smack in the bum and back to work. Smell me while down the bottom lane. What's he actually going for, Smell, here? He's, he's got the crown, which suggests. I don't really. Atos? It could be just a casual crown for the extra for stats. The king? Yeah, I'm. Um... <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, dude, he's still putting pressure across this map right now. Have been able to find another tower after that top lane, though, so... Maybe not the uh, same amount of momentum, but still 30 minutes in. Six kills compared to EG's singular kill they've had so far, and uh, PA still is trying to farm up as quickly as possible. They have got these very slow calls on EG. That is something which uh, you have to be aware of. You know, the PA, the OD, they need, like, one big item. Usually PA needs to get the Battle Fury and go for a, a couple more items. I remember Puppy saying that um, PA is like a... Uh, a, a secret anti-mage. You know, she just wants to get Battle Fury, she just wants to farm up, but she will win you the game. Yeah, but she also can easily join a team fight. Right now, EG is uh, way weaker, even though it's uh, only 1k gold lead for LGD. Well, we'll see that game. Of, but, oh, they're trying to get away on S4 here, he's got the burst track off the other side of the trees. Now the Rolling Thunder comes through, but not really connecting on anybody oh, just yet. Finally catching Mars it, it's pretty perfectly S4. Getting it. Rock Bridge chase away on the back lines here. So on this nice blink away from the mail. That will lead him to safety. So well, just a trade here. But it is a better trade for LGD. It's position five, four, position three. Also, they used a lot of resources on the bottom lane. Still we didn't see a rock being used. Four points in fatal bonds. Feels like EG's lineup will need a lot more time to recover. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But uh, this blink dagger on Samel, I, I didn't see it coming out, so I was a little bit surprised to see him blink away from that astral there. But uh... yeah, with the blink dagger, he has a potential save for his teammates, especially in the arena of blood, and he becomes more mobile, also save for himself if he's caught just astral, and you always have enough time to blink out. Meanwhile, we didn't talk about Ame. He's going for that Lincoln Sphere so he can stop the Burrow Strike. Uh, has something against Fatal Bonds. Great against uh, OD as well. Burrow Strike and a lift down here at bottom, and he'll steal the Burrow Strike and immediately turn it around onto West 4 here, but the goal of Ame! Clean up many heroes, but they do lose Arteezy in the middle lane in the meantime. A double damage on Mars and jumps jumps in with the spear with the rebuke. And oh, an easy kill. He used Astral on himself. Huge mistake from Sumail, not what we usually see, and uh, maybe is gonna punish him. Crit trying to run himself away, but there's too much damage flying out of these LGD heroes. EG, they take a big win and then uh, manage to throw it away just as quickly. Well, we know Sumail has uh, double cast. Double tap ability on, at least. Bottom lane. So we'll go for the TP under the trees here. Might? No, never mind. No, X Nova. He is ready. And he finds him immediately. Meanwhile, the tower. Trying to get under the Don't quite manage it, but at least they managed to stop Fly getting the last hit on that tower. And the golem is going to time out as well, so no gold for FY either. This Morphling is also a ticking bomb. He is. Yeah. In the Battle of the Morphling versus a Phantom Assassin, it's uh, basically who gets the most money, I believe. Blasting down these creeps. Uh, Faithful Bomb onto one of them, but uh, with the AoE damage from Samael and Arteezy jumping in as well, trying to take most of the big creeps. I think Samael will be leaving them all for Arteezy here, just so they want to get him this uh, Battle of Fury. ASAP. BA is playing from behind, which means that uh, once you get the Battle of Fury, LGD will try to play aggressively because they have a lot of magical damage and PA right. still needs to farm her BKB to take a fight. Also this Mars is extremely far, only 1000 gold away from uh, Deso. Once yeah. they get that they can easily turn it into Roche with the Bulwark. He can pretty much solo tank the Roche. Yeah, and with the damage he's going to be pumping out with his death as well. Roll in, but doesn't quite link here as the Astral comes out onto the OD. But whose Astral is that? It's definitely a Rubik Astral. And Astral again? Okay, alright, we'll, we'll, we'll just wait, guys. Don't you worry. Yeah, then comes, never mind. Astral is put to sleep by the God Arena. Oh. It's just it's, it's too many Astral Speed right here. Like, it's, it's such a break in the flow when an Astral comes out, but Fly will take a full <laughs> bottom lane. Losing two heroes, EG. That is costly for them. Uh, the rolling yeah. forwards are May on top of Arteezy. Arteezy gets the floor off now, blinking over to a creep. Nice little players just get him out of danger right now, but very close to just straight up dropping just that Battle Fury is coming into him there, so wouldn't have been an ideal time to die. X-Men will take the bottom tier one tower out of all those heroes hitting it. 
LGD is playing Failed. so fast right now. They're not letting EG take any objectives. They only lost the tier one tower on the bottom lane. Now Mars has that. Uh, what is it? Desolation. Yeah, that's a full deso on him. It certainly is. However, EG are ready to fight right now. They come up into the high ground, but the immediate response can be heard. But look at the damage coming down. Finally, the rock is dropped into the wall as well. Sensor? Is it gonna? No, no. Crit is gonna survive on very low HP, but LGD they just they just throw in everything, throw in a wall, throw in uh, throw in the Mars ulti. Now Rubik didn't even want to use the stolen Rolling Thunder. He's just keeping it for the next fight. Oh, they found our DZ. How soon is this next fight gonna be in? He comes a rolling cube and for Rubik comes flying through. Keep it all down, the lift is out as well. RTZ does make it over to the creeps. FY though, he's still chasing, but that rolling thunder will end. RTZ, he's going south. And the team guessed it. No, they have not. A nice sidestep by the Phantom Assassin. Now get the EG carry to safety. And now they pick up a blink dagger on the Sand King. So maybe there's a way for evil geniuses to take this next fight. They've got a veil, blink on the Sand King. They would want to have rock for that next fight. To, Absolutely. Because Sand King just pick up a blink dagger. They have sanities ready. But LGD, they're not stopping. They're not. They recognize these big cooldowns on EG. They want to wait for the golem. But that is not going to happen. LGD going to keep on putting on the pressure. And if you think position 5 Earth Spirit is bad, you're wrong. Like, X Nova is making it work. He's 0, 2, and 13. Involved in 13 out of 16 kills. Oh, they're gonna get rid of this Observer Ward. Still getting his wards down. Maybe. Well, this could be a kill on some maybe here. Evil Genius is only gonna try and go for this one. Well, in comes the epicenter, the blink, the first strike. It does come through. They're trying to take down this mouse quickly as possible. He's getting low. RTZ comes in. As will get the kill. But now on the back lines, Chalice. He's actually locked up as well here, being held still by Crit. It's beautiful like Thunder, but Ruby also rolling through. We've got a. Can he actually do this right now? He's he's gonna have to roll in thunder. FY around the other side. Yeah, no, no mind. Oh, he's stunned him. Keep him still, Arteezy. Crit the trees right now. He's gone, Arteezy. Taken out a group. Uh, throwing EG like a fiddle. Oh man, FY God with that uh, still stolen rolling thunder. He did so much inside of the wall, and then he stole another burrow strike. Burrow strike, yeah. That was a big one. It looked good for a moment for EG, but they needed rock. Just some extra follow-up after. Sorry. It's okay. Um, Ami taking down some creeps. He's got this uh, Lincoln Spear now done for himself. And he's actually heading straight into the shotgun. So Ami's going to be pumping out even more damage. Phantom Assassin, she needs BKB, but she also needs her own items as well. Currently looking for the Desolator just so that Arteezy can get off a bit of damage in these fights. But PA, she, she can't withstand the burst damage which LGD are going to be able to put out into her. Like, they've, they've got the Mars, who's going to have Blink, he's going to have God's Rebuke, he's going to have a ton of damage with that Death Slater coming out. And then they've got the Shotgun from the Morphling as well. Like, this, this is burst capable of ripping this PA down to, like, 75, like, taking down 75% of her HP. It's... It's rough. PA is not going for BKB. She has Deso queued up. Yeah. I think... If they can dodge or take one good fight, it will pay off. But okay. sometimes it might backfire because you have no BKB, there's a lot of magical damage on the side of LGD, and uh, suddenly the game is over. They take Roche, you can't do anything. Oh, Mars with double damage. It's gonna like one shot supports. It's really scary for EG right now. Uh, now, Bow Strike forward, they're gonna get FY, the Rubik calls the pants down, just steal the Bow Strike and turn it one around, trying to get himself up onto the high ground, but the rock comes down, is it enough to keep down FY? No, it's not enough to break
one doesn't do any damage. He's gonna chase. He is, and he gets it. Oh, trouble. You know what's cooking? Yep. Another team wipe for LGD and the uh, 3D Roche. The They're using these stolen barrel strikes and morphing shifting into sanking so well. That's also a full shotgun completed on morph. Crisp, clean, absolutely mechanical from LGD right now. And they are just chancing away inside that Roche pit as they take him down. So we've got a tribalistic ritual here as Ame takes up that Aegis and now has the Ethereal Blade to boot as well. Evil geniuses. They've been on a hot winning streak right now, but LGD looking put for a really good game against them right now and possibly taking that win streak away. After the first day, Mars had, what, one win, six losses? Yeah. But uh, maybe... Maybe he's looking uh, way too OP, at least in this game. Maybe we were just playing it uh, on the wrong lane. Mars mid, it's the truth. That's two huge items on LGD right now. They have PKB on Mars, so he can do whatever he wants. And then you have Morphling with Aegis, Arcane Rune, and Shotgun. Ideally, you'd want to kill Vorlock before he can get any spells off. And we didn't talk about too much about Chalice in this game. He has a Guardian Greaves, Helm of the Diameter, causing a lot of issues with that uh, stolen creep. Yeah, yeah, the humble dominate creep has been super duper annoying. Just like chasing heroes down, even like Arteezy, just being followed by the Sentinel with the Iron Shell in these fights. Like, you can't spend the time to turn around and kill it, so we just have to deal with this <laughs> creep, give him vision, following around, letting the enemy team where you know where you are. You can use a blur, of course, but Ame on the high ground right now. We'll use a fortify and get that split shot, but the fortify comes out in response. Split shot does nothing, and the tower continues to be melted by Ame up on here. He's got an Aegis, he's got a Lincoln Sphere, he's got a shotgun as well, so no one can even come close to him as he takes this tier 3. And even waveforming, he feels this confident that he feels like he can just waveform forward through creep waves here, and still just right click. But S4, he's coming in, going for the ultimate, and then pop the Lincoln's at just the right time! <laughs> And they do punish the small for getting cocky. Another Rolling Thunder comes in. They got the Rot Arena out though with the BKB on Mars as well. Only one clock inside of it though. Tanking is slowly going to be melted away by the Mars. Even on Crit comes through on the back line, just causing some trouble. S4 finally finished off as FY comes in and that stolen Rolling Thunder. How many times are we going to see this green cube bumping around this fight? But the barracks are being taken right now. EG is just like they're split out across the map right now. They're, they're not willing to defend this one and <laughs> we've got no tier twos. Like. LTT are not going to stop. Well, maybe they are. They go for a kill on Samael here in the middle lane. FY, he's trying to do it alone, but the full stop away. Samael's going to keep himself all right. He wants to continue the offensive. The shotgun comes out onto the Pangolin with the spear as well. Won't be able to finish it off. Are they going in deep and finally will get the kill? And now Arteezy held still. Zanti's comes down from Samael, but Arteezy is already dead. Down comes a rock, but you've lost your count. You've lost your middle. Everything uh, was on point, the laning stage on top, uh, Mars on mid didn't have that good of a time, of, of course he played against uh